So next we are going to see some of the accessibility options. Accessibility is basically for somebody to use the voice controls or you know use magnifying glass and windows kind of things but especially if somebody is concerned about privacy and does not want to use Siri to do the voice commands then accessibility option is a good alternative. <clears throat> so to enable it basically you have to go to system preferences then accessibility and voiceover I don't remember or voice command something like that let's go with voiceover then <clears throat> no voiceover will uh, some do something else so I need to I guess I don't know which one it was spoken content voice control enable voice control it's asking me for my password let's hope it is the right one was it no so. <clears throat> it's being enabled you can see right there wake up close accessibility close accessibility option wake up close accessibility options it looks like it's not working for me right now what's happening Hello, open Safari, and Safari is open. <clears throat> now you can see that it's listening to me. It typed everything that I am saying. That is going to be a problem if somebody is using, correct? Remove everything. Delete all. Go to sleep. And if you remember, or if you if you notice, it actually kindly give you a hint. I wanted to remove everything. It detected that I wanted to delete everything from the <clears throat> address field, and it suggested delete all. Say delete all. So back and forth, you have to be uh, if if uh, like uh, to get a hang of it. You basically have to be very careful. You have to be. Uh, know that it's constantly listening to you and typing it in if the cursor is in if it's in an address bar or search field so you have to constantly go back and forth putting it to sleep and waking it up so now if I want to go to a website I will tell her to first wake up and then the website name so let's try that <clears throat> wake up go to sleep not notice when I say wake up it will go change meaning that now it's active wake up yahoo.com press return key go to sleep so notice that it went to Yahoo website <coughs> excuse me and I had to tell it to press the return key because on Mac the answer is return key. Now if I want to go to a link, do I have to click on a link by the uh, my uh, cur like uh, from the touchpad or I can tell it to click on a certain link. So I'm gonna first tell it to wake and then I will tell it to show me commands or something <clears throat> wake up show me all the commands delete all delete all delete all go to sleep wake up delete all in the address field <clears throat> delete all in the search field delete all in search field select all select all 
All right, so it looks like I'm not in the field there. <clears throat> Wake up, close safari. Quit safari, go to sleep. Now you see I was able to successfully close, uh, quit the safari. Now I want to still ask it uh, the Show me the commands that I can use with it. Wake up. Wake up. Show me all the commands. Show me commands. Show commands. Go to sleep. And those were the commands that if you see if you saw <clears throat> there were a lot more commands before I told her it to go to sleep I'm gonna wake up wake up and I have a lot more commands there you can that I can give it to you yeah. this thing and you see the list is pretty long so let's go and try the <clears throat> Safari again open Safari Wikipedia, press the return key, go to sleep. Now I want to search a document. You can see the cursor is already in the field and you can see that I'm not using the touchpad. So wake up, wake up, Pakistan, press the return key. Go to sleep. Now we have a ton of links. How do I make it click on a link? Right? So let's go. Wake up. Wake up. Show me numbers. Show numbers. Go to sleep. And you saw all those numbers, those numbers are corresponding to a link. So you can tell it to click uh, on that link <clears throat> or open and it will open that link. So before I do that, I want to find out which one I really want to open. Uh, let's go with the British India. Wake up, show numbers, open 118. Open 118, go to sleep, and you can see that it has opened that link. You can see it says British India. <clears throat> Wake up, go back page, go back, show grid. Go to sleep. Now, some people they use magnifying glass on Windows because it's either uh, too, you know, uh, the, the text is too narrow or too small for them to read. Uh, normally, I help them with the uh, browser uh, magnifying glass, the built in one. So, you know, whatever, they don't have to go with the magnifying glass, they can simply have bigger text. Uh, all across <clears throat> but in this case we can use the magnifying glass using the uh, grid so I'm gonna ask to show you the grid and then I will show you how it does wake up show grid zoom in 17 and you can see it's zoomed in on that uh, grid Show grid. Now you can further zoom in or you can zoom out. I would say zoom out. Hide grid. Zoom out. Zoom out. Back to normal. 
zoom out zoom out that's going to be a lot of zooming out so if we can say show grid zoom out on 17 zoom out 17 and we're back to the uh, normal page I believe I hope all right so let's try this in maps quit Safari open maps search maps click search maps Lahore Pakistan press return key and that's Lahore show grid zoom in on 19 zoom in 19 zoom show grid show grid zoom in 19 show grid zoom in 20 it looks like we don't have any zooming in feature so uh, we do so why it's not working show grid zoom in 12 show grid zoom in 25 show grid zoom in 12 All right. show grid zoom out 12 show grid zoom out 20 search in maps Click search maps. Click search. Columbus, Ohio. <clears throat> Remove Lahore, Pakistan. Click search. Okay, it's now it, it has lost me. I have to probably do it manually. Click search maps. Dublin, Ohio. Press return key. show local Pakistani restaurant click search maps click search maps click search maps Click Maps. Click Maps. Click Search Maps. Local Pakistani restaurant. All right, so this is pretty much it. I'm gonna try to go to sleep all right so i'm gonna wrap it here i think this is enough for uh, for right now 
uh, it kind of get a little bit frustrating when it's not doing what it wants you what it what you want it to do uh, so but it's a fun thing and needs more playing around with it so I'm gonna tell it to wake up close maps quit maps go to sleep all right so I want to go back to wake up system preferences <clears throat> open system preferences click accessibility scroll down click voice control click enable voice control and I was able to get rid of it through my uh, voice commands and I really did not think about scrolling down until coming to this page but uh, on Wikipedia we, we could or any web page or anything we could scroll down up or up so it's pretty neat if somebody needs that uh, voice control on their computer if you like it yes definitely go and play with it but for it it's probably not for me I, I, I need a little bit more faster response time and you know keyboard shortcuts or mouse is a lot more faster for me right now but I can totally see and understand some people's I once had a call uh, where a gentleman uh, he was controlling his computer and his TV uh, through voice controls and it was a long call and I can because of that call I can totally understand the need of this and uh, it's uh, and I must say Mac, Mac Apple job well done it's beyond uh, my expectation especially uh, there are people that need this so thumbs up double thumbs up all right so let's uh, uh, wrap this video here I hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one